The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Now, our friend Michelle Bachman is going to be on Meet... Uh, do we have our Meet the Depressed music? She's going to be on Meet the Depressed on Sunday. First of all, Michelle, be ready for this one. Will you hear right now? Tell the birthers that Obama was born in America, yes or no? Be ready for that one, because that's a big one with David Gregory. He's... Isn't it your responsibility as a congressperson from Minnesota to tell those people that Obama was born in America? Yes or no? Gee, I wonder if my, my TV ratings are going down. All right, kill it. Thank you. In any event, Michelle Bachman and her staff have been digging and digging. And guess what they have found? They have found that the government is spending about $105 billion to implement Obamacare. And that members of Congress didn't know about it. Because it's, you know, it's all pushed around there. It's, it's spreading the wealth. It's in this part of that budget, that part of this budget, this budget over here, that little part over there. About $105 billion, they estimate. This is why they've been delaying the judge in Florida. I tell you, we have a rogue administration, a rogue president. They're lawless, and there's simply no question about it. The judge thinks so, too. At least he has a sense of humor, though. So, uh, about $105 billion. Um, and I'm sure David Gregory is going to be very interested in trying to figure out how a government can get away with this sort of thing. Concealing it from the American people, concealing it from members of Congress. I'm just, I'm sure he's going to want to know the facts from Michelle Bachman and not try and beat her up with all kinds of left wing little talking. David, ask her this one. Wait a minute, I got one. Get her on that one. Remember when she said this? Get it. Quit, put, hit her on that quote. Hit, hit it right, hit her with that one. We'll see if he uses violent rhetoric with her or if he's a professional. Ah, uh, Michelle. Michelle Bachman, I, I want to know about the brushers. We had. The Speaker of the House on here. All he would say that Obama was born in America. But he wouldn't denounce everybody else. Will you hear and now? Have you ever been a member of the Communist Party? Excuse me. You're not allowed to ask that one. That one you're not allowed to ask anymore. Have you ever been a member of the Communist Party? Yes. Okay, you're approved. You can be an Obama staffer. Now, are you a Maoist, a Trotsky, a Leninist, a Stalinist? Yes, 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 and yes. Okay. You can be the domestic policy advisor. Next application. Are you a birther? Yes. You're disqualified. Are you a truther? Oh, a 9-11 truther. Oh. Will you qualify for a leading role in Hollywood? Michael Moore film. Funny how this works, doesn't it? Isn't it? I'll be right back. Mark Lovin. Well, now, uh, I'm really torn here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm torn whether they're tearing to Chris Matthews or ignoring him, because I think sometimes he says things because he knows I'm going to mention him and quadruple his ratings from about 12 to 48. I had to do a quick math there. Ah, Got to do this. Here's Chris Matthews on MSLSD yesterday. Hat tip, newsbusters, go. And the fact is that President Obama was playing that other all-American sport, basketball. Stop, 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 stop. Wind that back. I'm now wondering, Mr. Producer, Mr. Call Screener, if he's not Sylvia, the caller from New Jersey. That, is it, am I right? They talk so fast, like they're on something. Go ahead. And the fact is that President Obama was playing that other All-American sport, basketball. He was on a championship team. There's a great picture. I'm looking great there. They won the Hawaii State Championship. All this is on the record. He was a regular kid who kept his nose clean, did everything right, ended up on the hard Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, we know he didn't keep his nose clean. What was one of those stupid books he supposedly wrote? What was it called? Dream of, Dreams of My Father or Dreams of My Father's. What was it? Father. Okay. 
Didn't he have two fathers? Well, whatever, I get confused. He lived here, he lived there, this is the father, no, that one's the father. I can't keep track, and it doesn't really matter. Uh, but Chris Matthews. Chris, I'll have another drink, Matthews. We know he didn't keep his nose clean. He intimates at a minimum that he used cocaine. Don't you have to snort that up your nose? Honestly, I don't know how. I've never smoked a cigarette. Well, I've had a cigar, yes, but I've never smoked a cigarette. So we know he didn't keep his nose clean. Go ahead, Mr. Producer. Review has a wonderful marriage, a wonderful wife. She got herself through uh, Princeton, I believe. Her brother coaches out at Oregon mm -hmm. State. Everything right. about them is 100% true blue American. They've done everything right in their life, done nothing wrong in their life. They haven't gone out and gobbled for money. They've done the right thing in terms of public values. All right, I just want to get stop, back to you. Stop, so stop, 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 stop. They did everything right. Hanging out with that, that preacher, so-called preacher, right? The anti-Semite hate America? That was the right move for 20 years. And for 20 years, he didn't hear a word that that nut job said. Very believable. And that man married him and his wife. Well, I don't mean married them. You know what I mean. Did the ceremony. Baptized his children. Out of all the churches to choose, out of all the places of worship to choose, Obama was attracted to Reverend Wright. Farrakhan's buddy. Gaddafi's buddy. He did everything right, this Obama. So why, why criticize the man? Kept his nose clean, except, you know, that, that little cocaine thing. But his nose was clean because of it. I, I, okay. And hanging out with a couple of terrorists. We all do that. Heirs and his lovely wife, Dorn. Yeah, what's the big deal? People do those things. Kept his nose clean most of the time. Hung out with the right people most of the time. But he plays basketball, and he played basketball, and that's what attracts Chris Matthews to Barack Obama. He played basketball. We'll be right back. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.